If you're selling a digital product online, it really helps if you can put it into a mock-up design and then you can sell it a lot easier. It becomes almost physical that way. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how you can quickly and easily create a really professional looking mock-up of your digital product. So here we are then, here's a load of great examples of mock-ups, like of an online course or a website template maybe. You can see them all here. They look really, really good. And you can use them throughout a sales page or you can use them in an email to really productize your digital product. You know, be that an online course, website, template, whatever. And stick a buy now button right underneath it and people can see and feel like they're getting an actual product from you. So the best way to create it super quick, I think, uh, is with smart mockups. Here it is, there are lots of free options here for you to be able to do this. But what you wanna do is just go to technology and then multiple devices. There's also one for e-learning bundles, but that depends on whether you know, you're know you still using DVDs and stuff. Some people actually still produce these kind of mock-ups even though there is no software that's gonna be kind of sent on a DVD or, or, or it's a disc. But you know, some people still like to do that. I don't, I think it's probably better to use multiple devices, here you go. And then um, you've got all these kind of things here, devices that people are using and understand. After all, people don't use CDs and DVDs anymore. Uh, so here they all are. Now you may have call to have some of the some of these kind of designs in a lifestyle shop where your course is or your, your mock-up is actually on a nice sort of scene with maybe somebody using a computer or something. And that's fine, uh, perhaps on a sales page, but most of the time you're gonna want them like this. So we'll click on isolated, which will filter them all out. Now these little designs with the padlock at the top that's unlocked, these are all for people who have a pro account with smart mockups. If you're gonna be doing this kind of thing quite often, then I recommend getting a smart mockups account. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Um, I've got a link underneath for smart mockups. It's my affiliate link if you wanna use that. If you do wanna sign up, wonderful. Thanks very much, really appreciate it. But if you don't need to, great, here we are. So I'm gonna pick now a design and I'm gonna go with uh, this one right here. I think that one's gonna be the best one uh, for my course that I'm, I'm gonna do. And so the first thing that I'll wanna do is to go and get that screenshot of my course. So this is it here. This is my course at paidcourses.com. It's uh, basically a full training program that teaches people how to uh, create, uh, market and sell an online course. So a classic kind of thing that you'd wanna have a mock-up for. Um, I'm gonna take a screenshot and I'm, to do that, I'm, gonna, I'm on the Mac. So I'm gonna press uh, Control, Shift and five and then I can select the area. You can see the dotted lines there that I want to uh, have. Let me just do that and then just tweak it up a little bit. And then once I'm happy, I can just click capture. And then it takes a few seconds and just captures that particular part of the screen. Now you might wanna capture different sections of your sales page or your online course to use, and you can do that, that's fine. So once you've done that, a really good way to just see what it looks like across a whole load of things is just to upload it right here. This is something that they've added fairly recently at Smart Mockups. And it's just, look at that, bang, just put it into every single one of these bundles. And it's so fast, you know, you can just go and grab one of these now and, and then you, you'd be pretty good to go. But um, there are other things that you might wanna do and have different things on different screens. So let's just drop into this one here. I like that one there. And there it is, there's our design and it does look pretty cool. But I might want something like on the laptop. And so as I roll my mouse over here, you can just about see that the screen is changing color. And I that, that means that you're on that particular device. So for the MacBook, I would like actually a picture of the course itself. So here it is, this is like the back end. So I'm just gonna, again, uh, control, uh, Command Shift 5, just go and capture that, that uh, screenshot right there, which is just gonna give me the, the course. And now I wanna use that one somewhere else. So we're gonna do it on the, on the MacBook. So I'm gonna click Edit. And then I am going to, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna click the dustbin, the little 
a trash can as we say in America and then over here I'm just going to upload that new image you'll notice that you can upload images directly from Canva if you connect the two of them together I'm going to also show you how to do that method as well so if you're a Canva fan that's fine we're going to cover that too we're going to cover how to create this whole mock-up in Canva a little slower how you can use smart mock-ups within Canva and how you can connect the two so a lot of different things but I'm just going to upload right now. Here it is. And then it should appear beautifully on the screen. And there we go. We have now got our course appearing right there. And then again, I can create something different um, for the iPad as well if I want to. A different screenshot. Maybe even just further down here. So if I just move down like that. Look at that. The step-by-step -step trading. Um, let's go with that. And then uh, if I wanted to as well to get more of it on the screen and get it looking slightly better, I can drag this in to create a narrower image that would be more suited to that particular device. So let's capture that and then go back. There we go. That's that done. And now we're going to adjust the iPad. So we click delete and then upload from your computer and then we've got it just there and there we go we've now got that on there as well and if you want to you can click on the edit and then you can sort of select the area a little bit better as well actually not on that one let me go on to the ipad there we go so the ipad you can see is not covering the entire screen so you either take a longer screenshot or we can just just zoom in like this if we want to as well there you go. So you can sort of fill up the the area, not quite as good as having it all nicely and uh, neatly done. But once you've done, you click create and continue. And there you go. It's kind of filled the screen up. Now it's a uh, really, uh, really, really simple. You can uh, colorize the background. You can add in your logo as well with smart mockups if you want to. Uh, there you go. Like I've just put the logo there. Um, and then if you want none, you can select none background colors most of the time you're going to probably want them as transparent so it blends in with whatever you've got on your website but you, you can also pick some of these kind of things and it really does make your your course pop out like that it looks really good you can also upload an image as well if you would like they've got free ones there from unsplash so look at this we can put a fancy bit of wood behind our design let's do that actually there we go click save and there we are. So we've got we've got a really cool looking course there as well. So there's a lot of tools within Smart Mockups that allows you to to do this. If you don't want any background at all, now it's ready to go as a transparent uh, PNG, which you should do. If you want to shrink it down a little bit, you can also just pick unconstrained here, and then just drop it round like this, so that it's only just cutting out that that mockup. I recommend doing that so you haven't got kind of spare image that's going to push other things around that image away um, and then also just increase the size of the file and then when you're ready you can just click save and then download just here with this green button so we'll wait just a second for that to happen taking a little bit of time there and then when you're ready just click download now it gives you the three different image quality sizes uh, 988 1482 and a massive super high resolution one which is 3473 too big too big the likelihood is that you unless you're printing this on a on a on a massive blown up billboard type deal you're just not going to need it that big but um, it may be worth going for the high one in the middle because that gives you a little bit of flexibility there. If you want to shrink it down, you can. Um, and it's still of a good resolution. So I'm going to go with that one. And once I've selected that, it will just save like this. We can just save smart mockups. And there we are. Now I'm going to show you uh, what that looks like. And also we're going to check the file size. There it is. So I'll just do a little thing. There you go. It looks really, really good. It's only slightly blurred because I've kind of blown it up and I'm on a 5K monitor here. But the last piece of the puzzle that I recommend doing to create a mock-up after you've used uh, smart mock-ups is to optimize the image. It's really important that all of the images you use on a website are as small as possible in their file size whilst retaining the quality and so they look good. 
Now, one of the tools that I really like using the most for this is Compressor. Uh, Compressor.io, there we go, it's just, just loading up now. And it's free, it's completely free. There are some uh, paid features. I've gone premium because I use it a lot, but you don't have to. And all you do is literally get your smart, smart mockups uh, file there. It's 876 kilobytes at the moment, which is fairly big. It's getting on for a megabyte. Grab it and then just simply drop it into the zone there and watch it do its magic. It's shrunk it from 855 down to 247 and then we've saved 608 kilobytes. Now you do that a lot with all of your images and it's really going to add up and you're going to get a fast loading web page, which means more conversions and more money for you. So there we are. That is how you do it with smart mockups. And there it is. You can see the file size it looks just the same, right? There's no difference in it at all from the, the small file to the big file. So that's a really, really good thing to do. I recommend using Compressor.io a lot for your images. Um, I'm not even sure, to be honest with you, what the limitations are for the free version because uh, I've never found any problems with doing uh, as many images as I want. Now, Canva. Let's talk about Canva because with Canva, there are options for this too. So we're going to create a design and let's just go with a Facebook post size. We, we don't care that we're not necessarily using this for Facebook, but we're just going to do it in this size. So there's different ways of doing things. With Canva, you can use the elements which are over here on the left and we can easily go down to frames. And you can see the frames down the bottom left, just like that. There you go. There's loads and loads of frames. And then like there's one for a book there, for example, if you were creating a book, there's a laptop one there. But these are um, kind of drawings, as it were. So if we just pull it over, you'll sort of mean it's not like a photograph of a course. So you can easily drag and drop things into that. So if I just go up to here, I've probably got something I can put in. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's one I that's one I made earlier, as it were. Uh, let's say I wanted to put this in there. There we go. You get your image and then you just pull it over the screen and let go. And then if you want to adjust the position of it, like up and down, there we are. You can do that. And look how quick we've, we've created that. Looks really, really good. However, like I say, it is in a kind of cartoony, illustrated version. Now, you can look in here as well. If we go to elements, you can search for things like a computer screen. There we go. There's other designs there as well. Some of them are pro. Uh, and then you've got, you know, lifestyle shots as well. And you can, you can just drop, if we just pick, say, this one here, you can drop one of those frames right over the top of that lifestyle picture. So let's go now to the frames again. Hang on, let's just cross off of here, elements, let's go to elements, and then frame, there we go. And we can take one of these frames that are here, like a standard kind of rectangle, I suppose. Let's see if we can find that now. There we go. Let's just pick that one as an example. And then you can kind of put that over the top of that screen. And then the same the same thing applies. There we go. That one's probably not the best example just because it's got rounded corners. But you can do you can get it just right. Use a perfect rectangle. And then again, we can just go to our uploads, get our screenshot and drag it over like that. And let's just move it down a little bit. There we go done you know and that doesn't look too bad at all obviously like I say we get rid of the rounded corners but that's another way that you can do it in Canva then we've got um, another another way that we can use smart mock-ups as well so let's delete all this off we can take your screenshot there it is like that and now if we click on edit image just there we've got smart mockups and a few of their templates available for free ready to go in Canva. So let me just go down and you can see all of these different ones that they've got. Not many of them are isolated, but there are there is one there. Look, there you go. So you simply click on it and then it will put your design straight into that laptop and now you've got a proper laptop there like that. And then we can go again and we can use the other smart uh, mock-ups templates to create other devices on there as well. 
But one thing you can do uh, in terms of using Smart Mockups, the full version with Canva, you can take any image that you've done. I'm going to use uh, this one here. And then there's a little thing up here where it says share. And then you can link up with Smart Mockups. You need to join the accounts over. It's really, really quick and easy to do. I won't even bother explaining how it's simple. In the beginning, you probably got to go to here and then search for Smart Mockups. You'll see it. Then it will ask you to connect. And then it will connect the two accounts for you. Once you've done that, it will take your design that you've created in Canva, whether that's a logo, whether it's a screenshot, and then you can just click view in smart mockups and then the magic will happen. There you go. There is my little design on all of these phones and on a mug uh, on a computer screen like that. So that's the, the two different things. If you're finding this useful, by the way, please do like and subscribe uh, to my channel. I do all kinds of things like this to help entrepreneurs and creative people um, create, market and sell businesses online. And um, there you go. That is how you do it now with Canva and uh, Smart Mockups combined. Both of them are linked to underneath this video. Uh, feel free to use them. They're both my affiliate links. I'd be very grateful if you did, obviously. But there are free versions with both, with Canva and Smart Mockups. You can create these kind of uh, really nice designs like this. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Um, again, if you did, please do like and subscribe. And uh, thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.